Hi and welcome to this look at the 14 day weather prospects. This is a photograph I took in the Chilterns a couple of years ago but in recent times snow has been a pretty rare commodity around here. Are things set to change as we head through the Christmas and New Year period? I'm going to start off by taking a look at the picture across the North Atlantic and Europe. This chart is for 12 GMT on Tuesday the 22nd of December and what we can see is areas of low pressure here to the southwest of the UK and bands of rain pushing in across southern counties but across Scotland we, are, we have got colder air beginning to push down from the north. Now I'll run this sequence so we can see what happens during the coming days. Here we go through Wednesday the 23rd and into Christmas Eve and by then what we can see is low pressure begin, beginning to pull away into the continent, high pressure building in from the west but we've got this plunge of colder air from the north moving southwards and you can see uh, there, there is some white shading showing up here across the north and parts of the east and that's, that's indicating the possibility of sleet or snow showers. I'll continue this sequence. Here we go into Christmas Day and what we can see by then is high pressure continuing to build in from the west. A good deal of dry weather across the UK. There could still be a few wintry showers in eastern parts of Britain. Of course that may be enough to produce a technical white Christmas in one or two locations. And we've also got an area of rain pushing into the northwest of the country. And if I continue the animation, here we go through Boxing Day and into mid into the 27th of December, midday. By then, low pressure has sunk southwards across the UK, and we've got colder air beginning to return across northern parts of the country as, as that low pressure heads southwards. It's probably worth noting that before then through Boxing Day it probably will turn a little bit milder for a time but the cold air is going to return quite quickly. Now if I continue playing the sequence through to here which is midday on Tuesday the 29th of December. Even by then not a great deal has changed. Low pressure is centred over France or southern parts of England and we've got fairly cold air coming around from the, from the east or the north and across most of the UK and we can see there's quite a lot of shading indicating precipitation so blues and the greens, rain with the white highlighting the possibility of sleet or snow. It looks like a pretty mixed bag by then so I think what we what we can consider this has been is rather cold, quite changeable with showers or longer spells of rain, sleet or snow in much of the country. Snow is most likely over high ground and in the north. I would expect much of southern and central Britain to be seeing rain rather than snow through this period. Also I should highlight there will be some drier and bright spells even though we do have an area of low pressure close by I don't think it's going to be water wall rain sleet or snow. We can expect a reasonable amount of dryness at times and where clear periods form at night there is obviously quite a widespread risk of frost or fog de uh, frost developing and maybe some patchy fog too. That takes us to Tuesday the 29th of December. Let's have a look at the 16 day plots to go further ahead. Okay this one is for London and what we can see on the top half of the plot is upper air temperatures. I've, I've annotated it to make this a little bit clearer. They remain below the 30 year average highlighted by the thick black line going across uh, for, for much of a period, certainly from around about the 27th of December through to the early part of Janu January, maybe the 3rd or the 4th. 
towards the end here there is there is a signal beginning to show up on this plot for it to turn a little bit milder I wouldn't attach too much weight to that just at the moment because what we're probably seeing is a few maybe a minority of the runs in the ensemble which are going for very mild conditions pulling up the pulling up the average I think we're probably seeing that most of the runs are keeping it rather cold even towards the uh, even through the first week of January on the bottom half we see an ongoing risk of precipitation which I've highlighted it's if just taking a step back for a moment Christmas Day here the 25th looks pretty dry it's really Boxing Day may well remain dry it's really when we get to about the 27th of December in, in, in southern uh, England that we see the risk of precipitation picking up once again now is it going to be rain sleet or snow as I hinted it is looking pretty marginal but generally in the south I think rain is more likely than snow particularly over lower ground if we just look along the bottom here we can see the snow row count and what that is showing is the number of runs in the ensemble which are predicting the possibility of snow uh, falling on a given day the maximum is 33 uh, what we can see here in the short term is that interestingly there's quite a few there's 19 going for the possibility of a few flakes of snow on the uh, on the 24th of December wouldn't really attach too much importance to that it's it's that's the period when we've got the low pressure area pulling away eastwards um, it, it, this is suggesting that there could be a few flakes of snow mixed into the rain as that area of low pressure pulls away and colder air comes down from the north behind it but but in the longer term what we what we're seeing is snow row counts of four five four three then perhaps picking up a little bit in early january reaching values of seven eight nine there however that's always suggesting the likelihood of snow falling is between say 20 and 30 percent on a given day so it's not so so it's really pointing towards rain being more likely on most days in the south I'll now just jump up to Glasgow to show you a few differences in the northwest of the UK um, again on the top half of the plot it shows upper air temperatures staying below the average for all of the period from the 27th onwards we don't see that increase towards the end or at least not such a marked increase as was present on the London plot and likewise on the precipitation chart there's an ongoing risk if anything it looks a little bit drier than the London one and that's really probably to do with the area of low pressure being centered um, over southern Britain or northern France during much of the next week or two so finally the thing to notice here is a snow row count and whereas the London ones were mostly between three and nine here on the Glasgow one we can see higher values so on the 27th we're going up to 19 then back down to nine up to 15 down to 7 10 and then up to 20 on the 3rd of January so it really fits in with the general picture that I described which is that snow is more likely as you go further north in the UK during the next couple of weeks I mentioned that the count goes up to 33 but I can't show you that unfortunately on Glasgow or London but if I bring up the one for the Cairngorms so the Scottish mountains what we can see there is the snow row count reaching 33 um, during the next couple of days actually um, so I just I just wanted to show you that to to illustrate that it really is possible for the snow row count to reach 33. This chart shows the mean surface level pressure forecasts for the next 16 days from the GEFS model. Um, it's for London again, and I just thought it was worth taking a quick look at it. Um, what we can see here. Uh, the amber box surrounding the 25th of December um, shows that a hundred percent of the runs in the model are forecasting pressure to be between a thousand and twenty six and a thousand forty millibars 
so it's a high pressure dominated theme for Christmas Day then in the following days what we can see is more runs going for uh, lower pressure um, indeed by the 27th of December 77% of the runs are going for uh, surface pressure to be below 981 millibars that's actually a very big drop over a couple of days and low pressure then continues to dominate through the last week of December as we go into the new year there is a signal for pressure to begin to rise gradually so what we can see here is by the uh, by the uh, 3rd of January 47% of the runs are going for surface pressure to be between 1011 and 1025 millibars and that really continues that general pattern continues out to uh, the end of a run which is on the 6th of January but really the theme is for pressure to remain quite low during the rest of this year and into the early part of, and probably into the early part of January Finally, I'll just take a quick look at the GEFS 35 day charts. We'll just take a little peek further into January. This is showing the two meter temperature forecast spread for the next 35 days. Um, it's initiated on the 21st of December. And what we can really see here is that, it, well, to begin with, it's very mild, but temperatures quickly drop by Christmas day and they then stay below the 30 year average at least until this, the, the second week of January uh, the mean the mean from the model the mean temperatures forecasted by the model is shown by these red lines um, the upper one shows a mean maximum the lower lower red uh, line shows a mean minimum and as I say what we can see there is that those staying below the 30 year average until at least the 6th of January maybe say a little bit longer even but there is a signal appearing there for it to turn significantly milder as we go into the middle third of January now that is a long way off obviously and if anything the tendency in recent model runs has been to push back that transition to milder conditions um, was looking likely to take place in in early January um, but as I say it now looks as though the, the colder conditions may hang on until the second week of January and it may not be until we get towards the middle of the month that the mild air becomes established again if of course it does because when we're looking at this range forecast confidence is very very low and this is just to give some indications of trends so to summarize it's a mixed start but it's going to turn colder and drier for Christmas after Christmas day itself unsettled weather will spread southwards and it's expected to turn milder for a brief time thereafter it looks like there's, it's going to stay rather cold until the end of the year and into the early part of the new year at least. There is an ongoing risk of rain, sleet and snow with snow most likely over high ground and in the north of the UK. But I wouldn't rule out some snow further south and at lower levels because things are looking quite marginal. So it's a generally a rather cold picture, not a very cold one. But yeah, there could be some snow even in the southern half of the UK at times. Certainly wouldn't rule it out. Well, thank you for watching this. I'd just like to wish you all a happy Christmas. Um, take care and I will try and publish another update next week. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the uh, like button and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much now. Bye.